I make follow-up phone calls after the funeral service, probably a month to six weeks later, just to check in with the family and see how things are going for them. Um, at that time, I also offer an in-home visit, if they so choose, where I go out to the home and, and visit with the family. Everybody's different, and then everybody moves through this grieving process in different ways. We provide a grief support program uh, for the initial stages of the grief process. This is a program where um, people who have lost a loved one, um, a husband, a child, or, or maybe even a friend, um, come together and share their grief. Um, it, it helps for them to come and uh, share with others to know they're not alone in that process and, and to again know that we are there for them. This kind of helps to facilitate some of those feelings that people maybe have bottled up or they're thinking, well, why do I feel this way? We have an additional program called Solitaires and that is a monthly uh, gathering, more of a social gathering for those who have lost a loved one. Um, and together with the potluck, we also have uh, a variety of speakers that come each month. And um, I think it's a, a good program. It, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be right after the death of a, a loved one. It can follow into a year or two years uh, just to come back for that social gathering and be with others who um, share that same kind of loss.